What is up, guys? Welcome back to Greystone Farms, North Carolina. And today, guys, we're getting in here. We're doing some contract work. So, hope you all do enjoy today's video. If you all do, be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe, also hit that bell notification. Hopefully, y'all can uh, hang out, watch to the end of the video. We're going to try to pick up some cows. Today will be a longer video. Happy New Year's, by the way. This is being recorded and posted the same day. So, Thank you all again so much for watching. Let's we'll jump into the video here. Now, I'm leasing equipment. I'm doing contracts just so I can try to get some things done today. But today we are doing some cultivating, trying to get some, uh, try to do some contract work, get some things done. And what I'm probably going to do is time lapse a good part of the video just so it's not as long. But the goal is to try to make a 15-20 minute video out of like two hours, if that. But like I said, guys, in the intro, today is mainly just getting contracts done, try to get some money made back so we can try to buy some farm, some more fields. I do got some harvesting I need to get done, so what I'll probably do is hire out this worker have him do this field, get this field done, and then hop over, grab the combines, head over to my fields, because I do have a few fields that are ready to work. And I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick with the hired worker going. I got 36 ready to be harvested. I got all these fields over here. Uh, 66 is ready to be harvested, 64 is ready to be harvested, 61 is ready to be harvested. What are they? Uh, 66 and 61 are both oats and wheat. So I got all these fields ready to be harvested, so I'm going to jump out of that. We're going to... Uh, Fast travel over here to the combine. So, guys, we'll see y'all when we get over to the field. All right, now we are here at the farm. Let's go ahead and get this unfolded. I'm not going to allow straw swath. Too small of a field to really keep the straw. Even though I can get $53 a bale, it ain't really worth it. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to harvest this field. I'm going to harvest the other oats field. Then we'll get the trailer here. And I want to make sure the trailer is good to go. As well. And before I turn that contract in, I want to cultivate everything. And find out whatever needs to be uh, plowed. I'll pick up a plowing contract. Keep all the leased machines. And plow up what I need to plow. Of my own fields. So let's take a look real quick. Let's see what all we need to plow. Fields that need plowed. 26, which is what we did in... Wait, is that part of my field? No, that's grass field. Yeah, that's grass field. Okay. So, 26 will need to be plowed. I got a guy over here on 36 right now working. I will need to lime 66. 
And these two are growing, or they got weeds, but these are all growing. 63 is corn. 62 is cotton. I might not keep the cotton field. I'm not 100% sure yet. It's not very much of a field to probably keep, so I'll probably cultivate that in or plow it in. But I do got two big fields of soybeans, or decent sized fields of soybeans. I've already paid a little bit of my loan off, $10,000 of my loan. Now, if y'all remember, at the end of the video, I had $89,000. I went ahead and bought a square baler and a trailer or a wagon just so I can kind of have somewhat of a good idea of what I can do. But I wanted to make sure I had something to also help produce an extra little income as well. This, personally, I should have just went ahead and straw swaffed it. Just so I could have the extra square bales to sell. And we'll make this field a little bigger too. So what I will do is when I... I will take this field and plow it. Go ahead and shut that off. I'll make that field a little bit bigger as well. Try to attempt to see if we can make it... A couple sizes or at least... A little long, a little wider, and a little longer. See, guys, that's what I was saying. This is the cotton field. It's really not that big, so I might just plow it in. So let's jump over to the other oats field, which is 61. I need to find a way to get over there. Probably the best route would be sneaking around. Well, actually, probably the better route would be when I do the corn harvest off of 63. I'll plow everything in and combine 63 and 62 together. Make that one large, one bigger field. But we shall see. I do have a horse barn here. Ah, there is a road right there going to the back. Okay. Next to the edge of the map.
Well, besides the map being uh, really good, I think they need to bring the borders out a little bit more, make the map a little bit bigger. Just so we're able to collect more of the side there. But I do like this map. It is a nice map. Let's go ahead and enable the straw so off. Let's get ourselves some uh, little extra straw. To bail up and we'll uh, sell the straw. I'll find out if I can sell oats down here. If not, then that's not going to be all that great. But it's what it is. Now I'll just have to do that off footage. Should have one more pass on this. Honestly, I might just wind up selling this part of the map just because of where it's at. It's really a tight area to harvest. But I think I'll wait till after I get the soybeans. not really going to be able to get that part because of the map the way it is so let's check on our hired guy he should be busy okay
he's right here he's almost finished so guys we're going to wrap up the video here if y'all did enjoy today's video be sure to leave a like hit that subscribe and also hit that bell notification we'll see y'all in the next one be safe enjoy your new years and tomorrow we should be back with another video so thank you all so much we'll see y'all later